When you are making the right decision, you will experience biblical emotions as confirmation. And if you do not, it is the wrong decision. Normally, as a person seeking the will of God, you should ensure that you are not led by emotions, but by the Spirit. But the Bible does tell us that we will experience certain emotions when we are following God's will for our lives. Those emotions confirm that what we are doing or about to do aligns with the will of God. One sign of confirmation that we truly are obeying God is this supernatural peace that only the Lord can give. When you are about to make a decision, a way to confirm that it is of God is if you are at peace, going with what you have chosen. Once you obey the Lord, you will experience a supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding. Sometimes, it might look like it is the worst person to go with, but once you start making moves, there would be an overwhelming peace that will envelop you and even be strong enough to block out every negative comment from people concerning the decision you have made. The truth is that most thing which is generally criticized is even the truth and the most important things. People might think that this feeling of peace is just something you created for yourself, but once you are sure that it is the peace of God, then you are certain it is the right decision by letting the person into your life. Another emotion of spiritual confirmation is that it will feel right. Adam did not need anyone to tell him that Eve was the one God had given to him. He must have just had the feeling that drew him to her. She was different from all other beings he had seen and known. When you meet the right person, the connection you both will feel will just feel right and awaken your spirit to recognize him or her. Everything will feel right like you were made for each other and being together is natural. The spirit in you does not contradict the move you are making. Everything aligns and just feels right. That is a spiritual confirmation for you. If you want to know the will of God for your life, you have to start with the Word of God. Through the Word, God has already given us answers to all our questions. No question was left unanswered in the Word of God. The understanding of the Word comes with different revelations. Getting the right picture of the Word is through the Spirit. When you know things, it is through the inspiration of the Spirit. It makes you close to God and be able to fellowship with Him. When you fellowship with someone, it makes you think the same way and have the same thoughts and feelings. When you can fellowship with God through the Word, then you will be able to know His will. The Word of God is a confirmation before you can let a person into your life. Everything about the person has to agree with what the Word says, which is the will of God. People often miss out on the right person because they cannot accept the person the Word agrees with. You do the will of God and confirm the right person for you through the Word of God. The Word of God is full of clear and specific commands, which are sometimes even very hard to follow and obey. But once you fully understand it, you will be able to go by its directions. Once you have an understanding, then you can apply instances in the Bible to your situation. Rebecca in the Bible exhibited the exact behavior that Eliza had prayed for moments prior. At the well, she demonstrated an attitude of service and kindness, which is what she asked to see to identify the right woman. People today do not believe that God can give them what they ask for. They think they cannot be too specific or else they will miss the right person. God is very capable to provide the desires of your heart concerning the person you let into your life. He did the same for Eliezer by giving him the person he prayed for. Once you have prayed about some things that you want to see in your spouse and those same things that you prayed for are in this person, 
that you can let the person into your life. Understanding the word and its application is taking the pattern of the word and acting it out in your life without hesitation. To know you should let the person in, you will see those godly characters you asked for. This will make things obvious. God can intentionally and directly communicate to you about the person you think is the one. He is concerned about every aspect of your life, especially this aspect. He does not want you to go the wrong way because one mistake in this area lasts forever and there is no going back. Not only does it last forever, but it also affects every area of your life, even your relationship with God. God reveals things to people through visions, dreams, their minds, or even His voice directly. When it comes to dreams and visions, God gave Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus, a confirmation of Mary through his dream. God let him know that he is making the right decision, being with Mary. That dream helped him to trust Mary, despite all the circumstances surrounding the pregnancy. God also communicated with Samuel in the Bible. This was a communication with his voice. God called to Samuel and spoke to him, giving him direction in the way he should go. God revealed things that were not known to Samuel, and those revelations were very accurate and true. There does not necessarily have to be a loud sound when God is speaking with his voice. It could be just a still, small voice, but you can only hear it when you are sensitive to the movement of the Spirit. Psalm chapter 32 verse 8 states, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. God is ready to instruct you in the right way and teach you the right decisions to make. The Bible also says in Matthew chapter 1 verse 24, Then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife. Once you hear the instruction of God, and you are led by him, that is the most accurate confirmation that you can ever receive. Nothing beats the voice of God in a situation. He can never lead you to the wrong person or someone that will end up hurting you. You have to obey him and follow his instructions. That way, you are sure that you are making the right decision. Go with the direction of God and you are sure not to make a mistake. God has a way of putting people around you that will help you to make decisions and instruct you in the right direction. They ensure that everything you do aligns with the will of God. They have been given that assignment to ensure that they do not fall out out of His will. They are God's representatives to you, and you should be rest assured that everything that proceeds from their mouths is the words of God. They cannot lead you astray or out of the will of God. Their words can serve as a spiritual confirmation to you. To be able to eat from this table, you have to ensure that you are open to them about everything that has to do with you and that person whom you want to decide about. They should be involved in everything right from the beginning, including whatever happens to that person. Being involved ensures that you walk by the will of God, because you would have it at the back of your mind that you are accountable to a man or woman of God that you do not want to disappoint. It makes you conscious of all the do's and don'ts. To know if someone should come into your life or not, you can ask them. The person might have been getting close and they do not complain, but the minute that they say that there is something wrong with that relationship, then there is something wrong. There are gifts from God in your life, and God cannot give you someone that will not do His will. You have to learn to obey them like you are obeying God. God gave them to you for a reason. Once they say that that person cannot come into your life, you have to do everything possible to cut them off. But if they confirm that the person is the right person, 
then he or she is truly the one. Your parents who are born again can also stand as spiritual leaders for you. God gave you to them because he knows that with them is the perfect place to be. They will make decisions that will favor you, so anything that they instruct, whether to let the person in or not, reflects God's will for you and is more than enough confirmation of the right thing to do in this situation.